Okay, it's time for the last topic of the series. Oh, it's been an emotional roller coaster. I'm sure you'll agree. We're going to look at the circle. So, as a tradition, um, if you were to look at all my videos, I tend to do, you know, the the standard topics, uh, standard subtopics in each bit. And for me, that's very much the equation of a circle. Then we're going to look at tangents and circles. Then we're going to look at the intersection of points on circles and then some problem solving questions. So four main types of question that we're going to go through on, on this series. Okay, so um, let's get started then. OK, so the first question is, we've got a circle and a circle. Um, to do, to do find the equation of circle two. Now, whenever we do the um, equation of a straight line, I always say take the headings P, G, E. When we do the equation of a circle, I would always say take the heading C, R, E. So we're looking at the centre, the radius and the equation. So let's do that for circle one. So for, um, we'll call it, I'll just call it C1. And we'll do that for circle two. And again, you're getting to the stage in the course now where finessing your, your working and making it nice and neat, that that's part of what, what, you, what will get you extra marks and things as well. Okay, so you know, watch out for that as we go through. So circle one, um, this is in the generic form. You're, you're given the generic form of this equation. We should know by now that this and this, that is 2G and 2F. I'll leave space there. So 2G is negative 6 and 2F is negative 2. You don't have to do this every single time. I'm just showing you how you could do it if you want to be perfect, okay? So that means that G is negative 3 and it means that negative G is 3. It means that F is negative 1 and it means that negative F is 1. So the rule I always say if you're trying to get the centre from this equation is you half it and you change the sign. We half it and change the sign. Okay. But if you want to really take your time with it working, then yeah, absolutely, you could do that. And I'm just going to move my radius just over a little bit. Okay. How do you get the radius from this? Well, again, you're given the equation for that, and you're going to do the square root. In fact, at this point, I need to rub out my e. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to use it very. Uh, the square root of g squared plus f squared take away c. So that's the square root of, and this is where right now this way can be quite helpful because now you're just copying down numbers. And the takeaway C, all your the C value is the end here. Really, you're changing the sign of what's here. So if that's negative 26. I'm going to have positive 26. Okay. The C value is what's left. Right? So you're changing the sign. So if that's plus 26, you'd have negative 26. Okay. So the radius, square root of 9 plus 1 plus 26, so it's the square root of 36, which is 6. Fantastic. So I'm off to quite a good start. I've got my centre, okay, I've got the centre for circle 1, and I've got the radius for circle 1. So that's me used everything here. Okay, I don't need to write down the equation because they gave me the equation. But just be clear about what C1 and what C2, they'll get them mixed up. Circle 2, fantastic, made my life quite easy. They have given me the centre, there you go. And it says that the radius of C2 is equal to the radius of C1. Fantastic, so the radius then is going to be 6. So how do I write my equation? Well, the generic form is the x plus a squared plus y plus b squared equals r squared, where a and b are, well, I I've said plus there, sorry, I should have said plus. Silly Billy. Where a and b are the centre. But note that a and b would be positive, okay, so we always change the sign in the middle. Just like the graphs before, you know, when we had the number next to the x, we do the opposite. So for this one, I'd be saying that I've got x, my centre is 4 and negative 2, so if we take away 4 squared, and y plus 2 squared 
and that's equal to a radius squared. Now the radius is 6, so if I square 6, I'm going to get 36. Computers just froze. There we go. Fantastic. So we've gone through a little bit there about the standard equations. This is um, one form of the standard equation you're given. This is the other one. I prefer writing it in this way. Um, it just looks neater. It's easier than, than this one. But they like to test you with this one, especially with the radius equation. So I think the big mistake you can make here is just to rush through and make a silly arithmetic mistake. In terms of the content, this is quite a nice question to get. And that's why it's only worth two marks. For are work in there, we're quite a lot for two marks, really. But this is our fundamentals. We need to get through this to get onto some of the harder questions. Okay, so we get this, quite a nice question, but it does take a bit of time. But remember, the centre of this circle, change the sign and half it. And the centre for this equation, it's change the sign. So the centre here would be 4, negative 2, as we talked about. And just get those headings, CRE each time. Yep, CRE. Let's try another similar question. Find the equation of this circle. Well, again, to get, an, uh, to get the equation of a circle, I'm looking to get the centre. And I'm looking to get the radius. And from there, I'll write down my equation. CRE, that's always your big headings. So the centre would be in here. And the radius, the radius would obviously be half this distance. Okay. So this question really is a kind of midpoint question, isn't it? So I've got negative 7, 3 over here, and I've got 1 and 5. Okay. So what I'm going to do is try and make a little uh, right angle triangle from that, and I'll use that to work out the distance and then the radius in the centre. Okay. So effectively, the midpoint of AB is going to be my centre. So that's so the midpoint of AB is going to be equal to negative 7 plus 1 over 2. That's going to be the x value. And 3 plus 5 over 2. So that's going to be negative 6, negative 3, and 4. Now you can check you've done that right, because if you draw negative 3, 4 in here, we should find a nice pattern emerges. So from negative 7 to negative 3, I'm, taking, uh, sorry, I'm adding 4. And then from here to here, I'm also adding 4. So that makes sense to me. I'm quite happy with that. And 3 to 4, I'm adding 1. And 4 to 5, I'm adding 1. So if it's also even, then that's that's fine. So I know I've done that right. Good for me. And I'm going to write my radius down here just for the space, actually. So the radius is all about this distance, isn't it? So if I think on it as a right angle triangle, then this is my difference in the x's. So it's effectively x2 take away x1. So negative 7. I'll, I'll move right out actually just so we can see. So negative 7 take away 1. So it's negative 8. It doesn't really matter, positive or negative here. And this would be your 3. Uh, 3 take away 5. So that's negative 2. So it makes sense. I'm going along 8. And I'm going up 2. I can get my head around that. So the r distance here is r squared r squared is going to be equal to my negative 8 squared. doesn't matter about the units, doesn't matter. You may have got uh, positive units depending on which way you want to. That's totally fine. And negative 2 squared. So my r squared is 64 plus 4. So that's going to be 68. I'm going to leave it as r squared because I can put the equation in as, um, as r squared, can't I? But if I, sorry, go, ah. No, no, I take that back. I made the classic rookie mistake. And I'm not going to read the video. <laughs> Just to show you that, you know, life, life is about making mistakes. It's cool, it's okay. So I've done the, the diameter squared, haven't I? I'm looking to get the radius squared. So the radius is going to be between the midpoint, silly me, and one of the other points, absolutely. So in this case, it was like it was like a four and the one. That's how much I'm jumping along. Four and one. Absolutely. So r squared is going to be 4 squared plus 1 squared. So that's going to be 17. Oopsie, sorry about that. If you're screaming at the at the computer, no, falling into the trap. So um, x change the sign, plus 3 squared, plus y take away 4 squared. So see, all I've done is change the sign here, changing the sign, and that's equal to r squared, which is 17. So it I kept that in partly of laziness, so I don't want to redo the video. <laughs> but also, just to show you that is actually a legitimate mistake you can make. So don't fall into that trap. Make sure your radius calculation there is indeed the radius from the edge 
to the center, not between the two edges.